Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 19, verses 16 to 22. Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I have observed, but what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard the statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. So for you, what would be the one thing that would be the most difficult to let go to completely follow Christ? For me, it would be letting go of the fear of failing at something and being thought of less favorably by others. This has been a potent driver of many of my decisions, and at times indecisions, during my life thus far, and it goes without saying that this consternation, most often than not, is a stumbling block that gets in the way that allows me to follow Christ wholly, untethered from worldly anxieties. For the rich young man, the stumbling block that got in the way to follow Christ was his wealth. Not to say being wealthy is bad, not at all, but like any other thing that serves as God, that is, God with a lowercase g, that prevents one from following Christ, then it is best for one's spiritual well-being to reevaluate that which is blocking the way to true joy and fulfillment. Because any substitute for God, whether that is fear of failure, wealth, fame, whatever that thing may be, is an inadequate vehicle to receive what all of us are looking for deep down inside, that is, the peace, well-being, and love that only God can provide, because what God provides is eternal and not transient as whatever idol that we might be clinging onto. So readying ourselves to follow Christ is not at all complicated. Actually, it is quite simple. But taking that initial step of truly letting go of that false sense of security, in my case, the fear of failure and looking like a fool, in the case of the young rich man, his wealth, and whatever the case may be for you, can be the most difficult. But as Christ promises us, once we are able to do that, we will gain eternal life, where no worldly anxiety, fear, guilt, what have you, will hinder us of truly finding peace, joy, and fulfillment in Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and fearless day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at maryknollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.